a great pleasure for me to address you uh, briefly uh, in uh, Cape Town at this uh, SAFCA uh, conference. Uh, my message to you is that the world of private equity and venture capital is changing, that investors are looking for measurable impact, and that you can see a trend picking up now with impact venture and private equity firms. It is not a coincidence that uh, Bain, uh, who raised $400 million uh, initially, are coming back to the market with a second impact fund. Uh, TPG raised $2 billion just a couple of years ago. They're now oversubscribed for a $3 billion impact private equity fund. Partners Group are launching a billion dollar ESG fund and the $200 million impact fund. Uh, KKR are launching an ESG fund of a billion dollars. In my view, investors will expect in the future a combination of financial and impact returns. And so the measurement of impact becomes crucially important so that investors can differentiate uh, between investment firms and their funds. Interestingly, the private equity industry is leading today in impact measurement. Part of the reason is that most of its investments are in single product companies, where it is easier uh, to measure uh, the impact of the company by measuring the impact of a single product. Obviously, the challenge where you're dealing with huge companies, quoted companies, uh, with um, multi-product uh, lines in low-income as well as middle-income and high-income countries is a much greater challenge, although it is one that we are uh, beginning to tackle now in an effort to get to impact-weighted financial accounts. But within the private equity industry, there is now a methodology uh, that enables us to measure impact. And my message to you is that's where the growth is going to be. If I were in my mid-twenties, starting out as I did in the early days of the venture capital and private equity industry, um, I would be an impact investment uh, uh, executive um, today. And so my message to you is grasp impact. You're in a continent and in a country uh, where huge impact is required in order to close the gap in inequality and to improve the lives of those left behind. I believe that through impact we can deliver equal or superior returns to normal investing because we cater to underserved populations that have huge latent demands for products and services at lower price points. So I wish you a productive conference and I look forward to hearing about your conclusions in due course. Goodbye.